All right. So today I want to talk about a very interesting topic, right? Uh, NFTs. I love technology. I've been following blockchain techs for now a few years now. We've been messing with uh, crypto mining. As a matter of fact, I'll be talking about that maybe uh, on another vlog. If you guys are interested to see this type of content, please make sure you put a comment below. Let me know if you want to see more content around that space. But as much as I love technology, I always like to study what's going on, how they work. And this is a very interesting topic for me because uh, NFT is not really well talked on the continent of Africa. Um, and it's, it's since it's a new or nascent technology, there's a lot of question about the use case and, and monetization, but it's very interesting. So like anything, when I uh, test a, a, a new system or a new uh, product or whatever the case that is, I always try to, you know, create a, a practical example into uh, that technology that I can use, see how it works, how complex it is. So here, here it is, guys. So NFT, before I get started, what, what NFT is, you can find online, but it's a, uh, they call it non-fungible token. So basically, it's a unique uh, item, I can call it pictures, 3D, videos, that you want to put it on the blockchain, you know, and uh, like anything else, people can come and get it. So, um, and buy it, of course, and, and it's unique to that, you know, item. So you can, uh, so when it gets to the blockchain, whoever owns it can resell it, you can get commission. There's a lot of aspect to it, but because it's on the blockchain, it's, it's, it cannot be duplicated as easily as having a picture on the web, as they call it, Web point two uh, two point uh, So, what did I do? First, we created an NFT. Uh, I selected uh, actually some pictures um, from a previous design. So, it's design of kiosks we did. There's only ten of them. Uh, it's actually 3D design that we converted into JPEG uh, of the kiosk, uh, the initial, the third version of the kiosk. And uh, I use those 10 pictures because there's no other pictures and as, as NFT. And uh, what you need is a marketplace. There's several marketplaces for different aspects, photography, collective, whatever. I just pick OpenSea. As you can see here, it's the largest, very you know, general um, marketplace that you can sign up. But before I get started, before you you sign up on a marketplace, you need a wallet, right? A crypto wallet, and there's a lot of crypto wallet out there. Uh, the one that I use is actually uh, called Trust Wallet. But there's a lot of crypto wallets uh, out there. You can go online, crypto wallets. You know, you pick whatever. You see the reviews, Coinbase. And what a wallet is, basically people can pay you in different crypto uh, aspects. All this is on the blockchain. They only want to work with, you know, cryptocurrencies, which makes sense. It's to develop that ecosystem. So you have to have a wallet. Um, there's a lot of review on different wallets. You can check on the different review or put uh, best crypto wallets, you know, and you can see they can list you uh, all the different crypto wallets on Google. I mean, uh, you know, you're going to have the different names and all those things. I picked, um, the one I picked was because of the, the, the review they have. But anyway, I'm not a specialist on that, so I'm not going to argue. But Trust Wallet... So far, seems uh, very easy to use. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I'll, uh, all right, so you see Coinbase, Electron, Mycelium, and all those. And when you pick one, you can go 
ahead, download it on your phone. And then after that, you can go to OpenSea. You have to link your wallet into the platform and then start loading the pictures that you want to put as NFT. And then you have, you have to do what we call minting. So basically minting is publishing uh, your, your NFT into the platform, right? And, and uh, OpenSea require you to pay for that. Uh, there's a cost into that uh, minting aspect, and you can choose which mint to do. But what's very interesting uh, on on the the minting aspect for NFT, you know, it's it's uh, yeah, it's 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 a great way to publish the the um, the NFT on the platform, so everybody can see it right on their platform. And you can choose the mint, you can put the prices, you can put the quantity that you want, uh, so on and so forth. So you have to have some money on your wallet. Uh, so I learned a lot. OpenSea is very complex to use uh, for me. If you're a new beginner, OpenSea, I mean, I had a lot of error message. I had to figure out a few things. You can now load using the app. You have to make sure that you link it to the collection. You have to make sure also... Um, that when you create, they all link on the one collection, so you don't create at one collection per picture, but one collection, all the picture you want to link it. For example, this collection is a solar kiosk for social good uh, item that we're putting it together. And I'm not going to talk about really marketing, uh, how to market NFTs. There's a lot of video, and I'll share some YouTube because I was checking uh, but what I want to talk about is the process. What I've learned is, number one, uh, it's just like anything selling online, right? You have to have a community or at least build the community or market your product to the NFT community, to people that are interested in that niche. So it's not of you, you, you put, like a lot of time I see online, you put the NFT on the on the platform and then they'll come you know you build it and they will come that's bs it's not happening like that that's just what the reality is you have to build the community uh the biggest community is on twitter uh on the twitter account and that's where you're gonna see so we created a a um a twitter account for nfts you know to really uh not just promote, but just to understand what's going on, uh, see what people are doing. So it's big for artists, but I see a lot of utility for artists. I see a lot of, it's a little bit like, and that, that, that's my take on this. It's a little bit like, um, um, for me, NFT is pretty much going to, uh, <laughs> uh, one of those locations where you want to pawn. It's a high-end pawn, pawn shop uh, with a much more better way to track what you're pawning and make sure nobody can duplicate without getting credit for that, so on and so forth. But it's a high-end pawn shop. I mean, that's just... And it's not a bad thing. It's just a, a, a digital pawn shop, I would call it. Signatures will be big in there. That's why you see a lot of stars doing NFTs. Uh, basically, everything that used to happen in the real world uh, with cards, for example, baseball cards, which is not, all that is not happening in Africa. It's really big in the US, in the West. I've yet to see that. But for artists that want to do digital arts and all those things, NFT will be great. And that's a very, very nascent platform. But you're going to have to do a lot of marketing. There's a lot of patience involved. Uh, I, I, it's 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 not one of those things that they talk about where you're gonna sell a buckload of it as social media does just because you're posting it online. It's just like anything else. It's crowded. You have to build scarce, scarcity, uh, interest, and so on and so forth. Now I'm not trying to build an NFT business. I just build that for for curiosity purposes. But if you're in art. Um, if you're in anything that is unique that can be digitized, I definitely, definitely encourage you 
uh, to look at NFT because I think that's a new market and can be a new revenue stream uh, for you guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, that'll be great to, to uh, get some of your comments below.